Hey, yeah, what's up? This disciple Marcello Currents Rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti telepathy all day, anti America all day, and everybody with him. Yeah, so this message, first I gotta say for Christians, I gotta let you know, it's 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 um it's certain wars that I'm fighting that you're not fighting. It's certain wars that I'm in that you're not in. And I'm talking information in a lot of my videos according to those wars, wars that you're not in. Wars information that you if you spoke it wouldn't make sense because you're not engaged in those wars you have not had any uh some of you quite frankly have not had any experiences and experience in those wars so it would be quite silly for you to talk about it okay however it is many people many spiritual people that are in those wars and this information could be useful so before i, I had to say all that because a lot of people think you're coming off to be carnal and really you're a lion the Bible said the righteous are as bold as lions. That's what the Bible says. Not bold as a butterfly. The Bible says the righteous are as bold as lions while you're thinking I'm being crass. Okay? So, let me go on. So, basically, this video is going to be about... Um, I'm going to be addressing a lot of poli hood politics. A lot of hood street politics. Because there's a lot of people that's out there faking a the phone. A lot of that need to be shaved off, man, because what I see is in, in this final hour, what we have is black people and then we have black zombies. And when I say zombies, it isn't, it isn't, I'm not saying that term to actually degrade their, their uh, level of humanity. It's, it's simply they're black people that's not dope dealing. They're not making no dope. They're not selling no dope. They're not selling no drugs, but they're going around killing people. They're not in any wars, any significant wars, but you walking around wanting to kill black people. So the, these are, this is a sight. You'd be surprised at how many people are programmed like this. But they won't touch a white person. Nah, we don't need that around here. And why you think it's me, it's you. Because I have a reason. I have a reason to go to war with people that play around my life. I have a reason to go to war with people who play around my well-being. And you walking around with the mind to seek and destroy people that look like you, but you won't touch a white person. See, the thing about me, I don't discriminate. If you're in war with me, I'm in war with you. I don't care what color you are. But there are certain black people that will sit around and act like they won't smoke with you, but won't, won't smoke with no white person. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. They won't go all the way. You won't go all the way. With no white person, you won't. Yeah, so I'm going to be addressing a lot of uh, hood politics, shaving those type of people off, because what black people like to do, is, uh, what these particular people like to do, is act like they part of black people. No, no, you're not. You're killing black people. You don't sell drugs. You don't do nothing. That's real. Nah, uh -uh. that's a that's an off breed of the African American community. That's how I see it. That's an off breed. That's worse to me. You can accept biracial people more than they, than you can accept them because they're programmed to just harm and to prey on innocent black people. But they won't go arm and pray. They won't go harm and pray people across town who actually got money. They won't go to downtown Manhattan with that. They go down there and drink a coffee and try to smile at white people. Nah, man, I know you're tight. I know you're tight. While me, I go down there with the same kind of attitude having them call the police saying it's a thug in the neighborhood when I'm actually a Christian. I'm just a warrior, I'm a soldier. Walk the same way, act the same way, check them just like I check anybody else. That part. While you going in there cracking your chat smiling your chap lips trying to fit in with them all right so this video is going to be about as far as uh street hood politics and information and this ain't for uh, a video to go viral i don't do this for that reason first of all foundationally i do this for first speaking in it's my level of speaking it into the realm of the spirit there's certain things that has to be countered and spoken into the realm of the spirit. So people that's flattering themselves in the American community, I don't need you to be an audience. I'm first speaking this into the spiritual realm. Second of all, I'm making personal record of it so that all people can see. This is where I stand. 
this is why they're dying. Boom. This is why they're dying. I'm showing you. I'm giving you information. I'm showing you about the 40 states in America that allows children to have sex. I'm showing you how the black community kills, uh, gangbangers kill children, and then they sit up and cry about police shooting children. They, they cry about police shooting black people. I'm showing you all this information so that you can see why things are the way they are. So don't please don't flatter yourself, American community. I don't need thousands of views. I just need to be made. Speak it into the spiritual realm. Speak my part as far as who I am. And let it be, let it be public record for all the right people to see. Okay? So, now, let me proceed on this lecture. Okay? This is going to be about women, female versus male and fighting and physical fights, wars, and everything like that. This is how I feel. For women, I'm gonna say it just, I'm gonna say it plain, I'm gonna keep it plain without sugarcoating. Don't fight, don't, don't challenge no man unless you unless you wanna fight. Okay? Don't go cry when you don't challenge the man opening up your mouth. Talking and fighting, and, 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 I mean, talking and saying all this stuff that you're saying, and then expecting a the man to sit there and take it. And then some women just put their hands on a man, slap a man. Don't, don't slap no man thinking you are going to not be touched. Some men do not care about that. Some men do not care. They feel like they got to protect themselves. Let's keep it 100. But yet women will, that's what some women would do. They would take advantage of their gender, slap a man around, you know what I'm saying? And then act like they act like they're more thuggish than he is. But you know, if he put his hands on you, you calling the police. That's what I'm saying. Or you calling a million dudes. You calling all your family. And we all got thugs in our family. We all do. <laughs> Men included. We all, everybody, you ain't saying nothing with that. We all got thugs in our family. That don't mean nothing to me. What means something to me is when you can be woman enough to stand your own ground and fight your own battles. That's real. And you ain't gonna do that. You are not going to do that. Most average women are not going to do that. So therefore, you should not be stepping in the ring with no man. That's real. Am I right or wrong, y'all? Women standing up trying to fight men toe to toe, then you're gonna run and get a, a, a whole, a whole uh, uh, village of dudes. And you still ain't no thug. You still ain't no Don. You still ain't no gangster. If you was a gangster, you would fight your own battles. Man, woman, or child. You would fight your own battles. That's the difference. I can fight my own battles. I can fight my own battles. You know, and, you know, these days you got women that want to be gangster and be thugs. Okay, right along with that, you got to earn your stripes. There are some men, there are some women that can beat men in physical fights. They, they train, they know certain fighting skills and fighting styles. But that's at least 20 or 30% of the women in the American community. That's not half. That's not half. It's about 25 to 30 percent of the women. A quarter of the women can fight and beat a man. A quarter of the women can fight and beat the average man. But even then, a man having the strength that he have, and a woman just naturally, physically having a soft chin, a man can hit her just right and knock her clean out. No matter what, no matter what fighting style she knows. She's born with a soft chin. Am I right or wrong? So no matter what fighting style you know, you're born, uh, most women we can agree are born with a softer chin than men. And if that man just, no matter if she's a trained soldier, if he hit her just right, that, that chin gonna fall. Bottom line. Bottom line, bruh. Bottom line. You can know jitsu, you can know all types of forms of fighting. But if a man that has strength hits you, catch you just right and hit you according to your chin, you're going down. And that is even within that quarter that can actually beat a man. 
That's talking to all women right there. All women are born with a certain chin. The physical ability to take a punch. You know what I mean? And that's according to the female gender. Man, hit you just right. Shake your head all around. You out of here. I don't care what you know. And, and, you know, and I have to say this because, you know, you know, you want to be equal, okay, but then you want to do things when it's convenient for you to do them. You want to be equal to man, but you will never fight a man face to face, straight on. And even if you will, you need to be careful because your chin is naturally softer. Me, and if he hits you just right, you might die. One punch, be dead. And everybody don't live. Some people get beat to death. Some people get hit one punch. Did y'all hear about that story where the dude that worked at um, Dunkin' Donut, the black dude, he got in a fight. He, this happened last year, I think. He got in a fight with a, a, a white dude, a customer. He hit the dude, I, I think, I don't know how many times, but it was less than five times, I think. And the dude died. That's a man. That's a full-grown man. This dude couldn't have been no older than, like, 25. 25, 27, between there. Knocked the dude out and killed him. Knocked him out and killed him. Let alone a woman. That's what I'm saying. So a lot of men like me, I find it offensive when a woman thinks she can, she can challenge me when I know that when it boils down to it, you cannot challenge me mano a mano. Man to man. You can't do it. Because you literally are not, it's literally not man to man. What you're going to go do is get another, a whole bunch of other men, which is still, really still not a battle. You don't want to get five, four, five different dudes for one dude now. Now you got, now it comes from one on one conflict now to one to five dudes. Okay. Nah. So that's what I'm saying, man. It's just like, you know, you know, I'm not telling women to stay in their place. I'm not that type of dude. I'm not a sexy dude, but I will be very 100 all the time in my videos. I'm always be 100. Ain't no woman got no business even trying to challenge or talk to a man or push up on a man like you a gangster. Because, I mean, for, for, for people to know, man, I, I stay, I keep a weapon on me. I keep a weapon on me. I keep one. And if you think it's for decorations, if you think I'm playing, if you think it's I'm, this is a cartoon, a, a costume uh, prop, like I'm at a movie, like I'm in a movie part or something, go check my record. Go check my police New York record. With the police taking my knives, with the police locking me up and giving me my knives back. I don't play no games, man. Go check my New York record. I'm not playing no games. And that was a woman. A woman tried me on the streets. She challenged me on the streets. Then she gonna she gonna call the she gonna wave down the police talking about I um I ministered and they chuck uh, local blocked me up for menacing with knives. But see, she was messing with fully grown men. So it's a perfect example. She was messing with fully grown men. She thought I was going to sit there because she was cute and take everything that she said, and it wasn't happening. They threw my case out because the bottom line is a woman, and here's the punchline, she had no business challenging no man. If you, if you sitting there, if you sitting there entertaining a man, what does that say about you as a woman? You see two black dudes, two big black, two big black dudes. The dude I was with, Bigger than me. Two big black dudes late at night. You talking to them dudes. Why is you even talking to the dudes? That's the first thing because women trying to be men. And then you're going to go wave, you're going to fold and go and wave down the police. Yeah, but they threw that out. They threw that out, man, because it, it just wasn't, it, man, it's just common sense that if a woman is basically entangled with other men, she probably had her part. She probably had her part in it. You know what I'm saying?
But that's what they're going to do. You're going to either call the police or you're going to go or you're going to get a whole million of dudes. That's what you're going to do. I ain't taking nothing off no men or women. That's my I, I, I advise you all to do the same. You know what I'm saying? Women want to step in the ring with you. Hey, this is how I feel. What am I supposed to do? Sit there and let a woman beat me to death? Okay, I might let you I, I might let you hit me one or two or three times. I thought I feel two or three punches and you still coming. I gotta do I gotta handle my business. That's real. That's anybody. Okay, I'll take maybe two or three punches. Maybe. Maybe. But after two or three punches, are you trying to fight? Nah, man. Hell no. I'm finna apprehend. I'm finna, I'm finna restrain you or something. And if you're too strong for me to restrain, what I got, I gotta handle my business. That's real, bro. That's real. So, uh, you know, and like I said, you know, people, some women are trying to size up a dude. I advise you not to do that. Because you don't know how strong a man is. A man can hit you one time in your head and you die. And you, you're going to be in hell talking about, well, I thought I could take him. <laughs> you're going to be burning in hell talking about, I thought I could take him. Nobody playing no games, man. It's 2022. I'm not playing. I don't know where y'all at. You in 2005? I'm not. I'm not playing no I'm turned up. I'm 2022, buddy. I'm with the times. I don't know about you. I'm with the times and you not. Because you opening up your mouth and yapping and trying to step into rings with fully grown men and you not going to do it. You ain't going to do it with me. You ain't going to say nothing when I come by. If you're a woman, you ain't going to say nothing. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's real. And I don't say nothing to them. I don't say nothing to them. I practice the same thing. I treat women just like they should be, like I should. But if you try to use your femininity to, to get the upper hand, I'm going to check you. I'm going to pull you. ain't going to play me like that. I'm gonna call you for trying to. Uh, I'm gonna call you on trying to use your femininity to like pull up yourself as more gangster than me, or like you stepping in the ring with me, but really you hiding behind your femininity. Really you hiding behind a million people. Yeah, when I'm one person right here, that's what men do. It's man to man. That's what men do. That's what men do. We want to see who wins, man to man. We want to see who wins. According to me and you. And I, that's what men do. And if women, you want to play that game, I'm telling you, more times than not, you're not going to win. You're not going to win trying to go one-to-one -one with no man. Yeah, I don't care how innovative we get. I don't care how much we move into the future. You will never have the chin and physique totally of a man. Even if you've built, you're strong, your chin, like I said, your ability to take a punch is still going to be feminine. It is. I know I'm right. Yeah. So what are we supposed to do? Sit back and let you box us around? Play with us? Man, man. uh-uh, not me. I'm not that dude. And like I said, man, I'm a warrior. And we know the, lo we know the laws warriors live by. Kill or be killed. Kill anything that's standing in our way. So here's my thing. I don't fight women, but if you pick up a weapon and try to hurt me, I have to dis I have to neutralize you as a target. That's how most men feel. I won't fight you, but I will kill you. That's right. It's a big difference. I'm not gonna sit up and box you like you're a man, but if you are an, if you are an entity. That's trying to take out my, uh, trying to take my life. Hey, what am I supposed to do? This is beyond gender. No, I'm not going to let gender take my life. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not going to happen like that. And for the record, let me speak on this. I've had women put their hands on me and I did nothing about it. Not because I'm scared. Because I know the laws, the first how the law is. I know how the law is, and I have my restraints as a man. I've sit up and let a woman punch me in my face, took it without getting knocked out. I've earned my stripes, man. I'm telling you, without trying. 
I sit up and let a woman punch me in my face because she was a woman. Yeah. So you can't act like I'm one of those guys that's a punk that's fighting women. You know that how people in the black community love to say that. Oh, that's a punk. Shit, uh, man, look. I'll fight a man, I'll fight a woman, I'll fight whoever, man. That's real. And I've proven that. In the last nine months, I had to fight and beat somebody down. A grown man. Beat him down in the streets. I've proven this. So you can't label me as some dude that just picking on women. When have I ever picked on a woman? That part. When have I ever selected and chosen a woman for a fight? When have I done that? I'm not one of them little dudes to do that. I don't choose women as my fighting opponents. You know, some gay dudes may do that. Some other dudes may, some men, some masculine men just may feel like they don't tolerate no woman saying nothing. There's men like that. But I don't choose women as an opponent. Women choose me as an opponent sometimes. That don't work out for their benefit. I'm telling you, that don't work out for their benefit, bro. I'm not the person to arouse to anger, man. I'm not. I got kicked out of school in high school and didn't get my high school education because I pulled a weapon on somebody, man. That's how I got kicked out of high school. I didn't even graduate because I was violent, man. Hey, that's my story, whether you believe it or not. My story is I did not graduate. I did not walk the stage. I did not finish high school to 12th grade because I was violent. Women, men, and children need to know that. Just in case you think I just came along and I'm a late bloomer, <laughs> just in case you think so just in case just in case you police authorities and everything in between just in case you think I'm blaming go check my records go check my high school records I got kicked out of school for pulling the weapon on the dude man I didn't even ever go back I went to get my GED I did that but I didn't finish high school and get a high school diploma because I pulled a weapon. A weapon, man. Hey, yeah, I'm not crazy. It's a difference. I'm not crazy, man. It's a difference, bro. It's a difference. People are lions, man, and people don't even know it. I'm telling you, people are straight up beasts. You don't even know it, bro. You right, like, look at the beast right in their face, bro. You don't even know it, man. I bite your whole head off. I got kicked out of school, high school. I've been like this since I was a boy, since I was a child. I fought in every part of high uh, school. Elementary, elementary, yeah, elementary, fighting some dude in school, wind up breaking his glasses, brought brass knuckles to school, my, my, my uh, family's brass knuckles. I brought some brass knuckles to school. People found it. That's elementary. Middle school, fighting in middle school. And then high school, I pulled a weapon on a dude and got kicked out of school altogether and had to go to what we call street, street academy. Where all the bad kids go to the same school. All the bad kids. All the bad kids from high school that got kicked out going to all going to the same school. We were all bad kids smoking weed, smoking, man. Wilding, man. Really having fun, to be honest. Just having fun. All the bad kids going to the same school. That's my, that's, what does that tell you about me, man? I mean, you get something from that, right? I don't play no games, man. I know what it is to be in real time. I know what it is to be in real time problems. Well, I have for y'all, man. Y'all barely got y'all feet wet and then and, and fighting and everything. You ain't no fighter. You ain't no person. You ain't no fighter. You ain't no violent person. Man, if you was a violent person, you would be walking around with a dog, with a muzzle on, like I do. I walk around with a muzzle on, just hoping I don't bite nobody. 
you walking around talking, you, you ain't got no muzzle on, that means you ain't no violent person. You ain't no violent person. Because you'll come off, how you come off the people, you ain't violent. It's not valid. Violent people don't start problems. People who will have the tendency to be violent do not start problems. They don't go around looking for problems. That's just real. Yeah, you police need to know that. I don't fear you, bro. I don't fear you. You don't put no fear in my heart. You put your pants on just like I do. And you better know I know it. Same thing with anybody else. FBI, CIA, I don't fear your government. I don't fear your community, bro. I don't fear them. That's why I am, the, I am the rebellion. I am the revolution. You're going to have to come talk to me. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. And on my terms, on my terms, yeah, you thought you was going to be able to assassinate me. You, you didn't, no, you're not. <laughs> I'll be right here when you die. I'll be right here. 